New information just into CNN about last fall's deadly attack at the U.S. consulate in Benghazi. In an interview with congressional investigators, a former diplomat in Libya, U.S. diplomat, expressed concern that more could have been done to stop the attacks. Greg Hicks, then the U.S. Deputy Chief of Mission in Libya, told investigators last month that a show of U.S. or NATO air power might, might have been able to frighten off the attackers before they were able to fire a mortar at the CIA annex in Benghazi. Defense officials have disputed that any assets were in place to take any sort of action that would have made a difference. Hicks also said that despite White House suggestions to the contrary, he thought it was a terror attack from the get-go and that his jaw hit the floor when he saw UN ambassador to the United Nations, UN, U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, Susan Rice, go on TV and essentially blame the violence on protests against an anti-Islam YouTube video since she was contradicting the Libyan president who had gone on TV that morning and said the attacks were conducted by Islamic extremists with possible terrorist links. Ambassador Chris Stevens was killed in the attack along with three other Americans. We will have much more on the story tomorrow and on Wednesday when there will be a congressional hearing.